Oh, nuts she had. All right. And there is no changing or altering to the declaration or decisions of Allah. Muslims claim that the Quran, Surah Maryam 19:28, says, "Ya Ukhta Harun, ma kana Abu ki Imran sawiyan, wa ma kana Umma ki baghiya." I said, you see, the answer to your problem is in your own book. <laughs> the Bible is in your holy Bible. Where is it? It is in the first book of the New Testament. First book, chapter one, verse one. You will never forget. One, one, one. Three aces in a game. You will never forget. What does it say? You ask me, what does it say? I tell you what it says. It says, you remember? I showed you the genealogy. Yes, the first verse. It says, this is the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of Abraham, the son of David. Ask him. Ask him. Is that what it says? Jesus is the son of Abraham. He is the son of David. Then in the Gospel of Saint Luke, in the other genealogy, he is the son of Joseph. Joseph the carpenter is his father. Then in the book of Mark, he is the son of God. Wait, 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 wait. He is the son of Abraham. Means Abraham is his father. He is the son of David. David is his father. He is the son of Joseph. Joseph is his father. He is the son of God. God is his father. A man who's got four fathers. In your language, sir, in America, what do you call it? <laughs> he can respond. He said, "No, no, no, it doesn't mean that." So, what does it mean? So he starts explaining. I said, "You see, it's the same. You are, you know, look, Jesus told you, He warned you." He said, judge not that he be not judged. For with what judgment he judge, he shall be judged. He said, you hypocrite. Why seest thou the mote in thy brother's eyes and seest not the beam in thy own eye? So first remove the beam from your own eye. Second Timothy three sixteen to seventeen. All Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. Romans 15. You see, I quoted one brief verse about Samson. Samson goes to Gaza and he sees a harlot and he goes into her. This is supposed to be in the Word of God. Now, under the test that is given to us by Dr. Sharosh, where does it fit in? Does it? Is that your doctrine? That when you go to some place and you see a prostitute, you go in into her. Your doctrine is that your teaching? Reproof? Was there any reproof given by God Almighty? Say, I'll punish you. I'll put you in hell. Nothing. Correction? He said, No, you mustn't do this. But you must marry her, and then you can go in. What? What instruction? Nothing at all. So I'm asking the doctor or any Christian at any time, please, please, read the Bible with this critical eye. There are things there in the Bible you can't fit in anywhere. 
Genesis chapter 38. The next question to Dr. Sharosh doesn't appear to be very legible. I'll do my best. Which version of the Bible do you accept as authentic? Do you agree with the versions which were removed? 1 John 5, 7, which read, There are three who bear witness in... I don't know what that word reads. It's Lenin, I think. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and that these three are one. Uh, Dr. Shirosh, have you understood that question? This question, ladies and gentlemen, deals with a text that is supposed to be in the text of the scripture called in the proper language of biblical textual criticism, interpolation. That means it is not in the original text. When we talk about the Bible, ladies and gentlemen, I think... I need... But the version is, as the brother was trying to explain, he said that the verse on the Trinity is an interpolation. He said that. Interpolation means something that has been pushed into it, which is not supposed to be there. And in the Bible he presented to me, that verse is a part of the text. In other words, now that's a version. You open another book, the Roman Catholic version of the Bible, which is the RSV version, Roman Catholic, they threw it out as a fabrication, that verse. It's a different version. In my hand, I have the Quran by Pixar, and I read here, فَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ واستغفر لذنبك وللمؤمنين والمؤمنات والله يعلم متقلبكم ومثواكم Now in English, here is the translation. So know, O Muhammad, that there is no God save Allah and ask for forgiveness for thy sin and for believing men and believing women. Allah knoweth both your place of turmoil and your and then he forgets the rest of the verse. It's right here. They forgot to translate the whole thing. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? Thank you. Allah, Allah.